distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Or as we say at Omnitel, good morning customers, because you are either an existing customer towards Omnitel, and if that is the situation, I would like to take the opportunity to say we do appreciate your business. And we do understand that we need to work hard every day to earn your trust. Or you are a potential customer to Omnitel. And if that is the case, I would like you to invite you and try the best network in Lithuania. I can assure you it's a customer experience worth sharing. I was watching a video together with my daughter some weeks ago. It was a video about a swordfish, sword fishing boat entering out in the Atlantic um, from Massachusetts. And while watching this video, I realized this is not a video about a sword fishing boat. This is a video about Omnitel. A video about Omnitel and where the captain is, George Clooney. Because when I saw the film, The Perfect Storm, I realized we are in a perfect storm within Omnitel. And you can see a storm as a threat, or you can see it as an opportunity. I saw it as an opportunity because we can change Omnitel, and by Omnitel we can change the behavior within Lithuania, and we can make Lithuania to a better place. What I realize is that Omnitel has lost its position, and there are several reasons for that, but I think the most important thing is that Omnitel lost its direction, its value, its beliefs, because it's not about what you're selling, it's about what you stand for. You need to have a purpose of what you're doing, and we need to have a purpose of what we are doing within Omnitel. So what is the value of Omnitel? What are we standing for? We strongly believe that Omnitel is based on four cornerstones. First of all, first of all leadership within technology. Leadership within quality. Leadership within innovation. And on top of that, a customer experience worth sharing. For sure, that is what we need to have in place. Once again, the leadership in technology. Secondly, leadership in innovation. And leadership within quality. And on top of that, a customer experience worth sharing. And we believe that bringing the whole world into your hands, bringing the whole world into your mobile phones, that will make your ideas fly. But listen carefully, to be a leader within technology five years ago, that was an easy task. To be a leader within technology today, it's something completely different. Because the world is changing, and it's changing as we speak. And we believe that if we should be able to make the changes, we need to adapt to something. And the key word, the key word for the future, is connectivity. Connectivity is the key word because our customer would like to have the same experience, no matter of screens. If you have a screen within your summer cottage, within your flat, or if you have a screen on the move, or in your smartphones, you would like to have the same experience, no matter which screens you are using. Of course, you would like to have relevant services, Spotify, a TV, or whatever it is. And you would like to have access to all network, no matter if it's an IP-based network, a mobile network, or whatever it is. Seamless communication, connectivity between those network will be essential, and it's actually essential right now. And connectivity leads to another thing. Connectivity leads to that we need to be connected the full day. If I take myself as an example, I start the morning, 7 o'clock, watching the BBC news on my app. I'm checking the local weather, what is going on in the traffic. When I'm traveling to the office, of course, I check my mails. I listen to some music. I try to be connected with some of my friends. In the middle of the day, I try to get hold of my daughter to secure that she is in school as she has promised me. I, of course, have a lot of conversation with my colleagues 
I have a lot of conversation with my friends. And later on, when I return to my home, of course, I try to do some online shopping. And later on in the evening, I use my phone for dealing with my banks, with some insurance issues, and of course, try to be connected with my friends. And the last thing I do before I go to sleep, I always check the news. What is going on and what can I expect from tomorrow? So just assuming that you will not be connected for one day, isn't it so that if you traveling to the office and then you realize halfway that you have left your phone at home, then you return back. Because the phone, the mobile phone, is a part of our lives. And of course it could be nice to be outside connectivity during your vacation, but we are so used to connectivity and the demand for connectivity is growing and the appetite of bandwidth, the appetite of internet, mobile consumption is before, beyond what we can imagine right now. It's unlimited. But connectivity also changed the way we are looking at screens. Earlier we had the big screens, the TV in our homes. Then the laptops outperformed the PCs. And now we can see a clear trend that the small laptops, less than nine inch, they actually outperform the big laptops. And there is a reason for that because it's easy to take away when you're out and traveling. The battery capacity is much better than it was before. The screen are much better. They are waterproof and you can use them on the go. So you can be connected wherever you are. So we see a trend that the screens are going smaller and smaller and they also will be able to handle your life in a completely different way. But the opposite goes for actually for the smartphones. They are going to be bigger and bigger and bigger. You know, 20 years ago, the smartphone was quite big, and the phones was big, and then it was smaller and smaller and smaller. And today we can see the opposite. The phones grow, and we have tablets, something in the middle. Big phones around seven inch. But we, what we can see, that our customer would like to have the whole world in their hands. So they would like to use just one hand for handle the phones. That means that customers that are buying those big phones, tablets, they are actually buying another phone as well. What is interesting, and this is something completely new, is that we can see a clear trend. The bigger screen, there is a linear curve. The bigger screen, the customer are using more and more mobile data. So of course, we from the industry, we would like to have big screens because that drives traffic. And traffic is what we would like to have in our network. So you can see from the one hand side, the tablets are going to be smaller and smaller, but the phones are going to be bigger and bigger and better and much more uh, customized. The key word or the buzzword for this year is something that we called, oops, can we have the next slide? The key word for next year is actually wearables. It's quite small right now, the market. We do expect that the market will grow roughly to uh, 170 million units. Could we have an... Oops. Now it works. Let's take it. We estimate that the market will grow to 170 million within 2017. The reason for this is that we can see a lot of new things into the market. Uh, new suppliers are putting more and more gadgets, more and more products, especially within um, lifestyle and fitness. But we can also see that new players like Nike, like Puma or whatever it is, they're going into this market and they put a lot of things into the market. And the only thing that they would like to do is of course, that they would like to create value for customer that is always on in the digital world. So this brings us to something new. It brings us to a situation where we will have new tablets, 
smartphones and, and uh, wearables. And actually I use one by myself. I have used it uh, several weeks and it's like a drug. When you start to use it, you can't get rid of it. And suddenly you feel that you are living a more healthier life. Uh, I haven't changed anything, but it's just to believe because I can now measure how many steps I'm taking and I can measure the way I'm dealing. So this brings us to something new. This brings us to the next slide. This brings us to connectivity at home, lifestyle and self-service. What we can see on this slide is that we have a lot of internet things and we are not the one that should decide on what the customer should have. Many of you out here, you are developing those apps, those things. We believe that those companies that will survive are companies that understand that they need to bring value and they need to improve value for the customer because without that they will not survive. So that is what we see. It's a clear trend that those things that are coming, some will survive, some will disappear. Our role is of course to connect this to the mobile world, to the connectivity world. Next. So we see connectivity is changing the way we are living. Connectivity is change our, our way of life. So let me take some examples from next. First of all, we see that connectivity empowers people. Health and fitness, I have already mentioned that. What I'm meaning by that is that we can see a clear trend of, of health and fitness stuff, but we also see that smart, for, smart homes is taking off. So we see that smart homes is perhaps now it will happen. We have talked about it for 10 years, nothing has happened, but I do believe now is the time, now is the time when smartphone will take off. And smartphone will grow, and that is for sure. Mobile wallets, I think the micropayment is actually the frontier in this area. And micropayment is something that has actually started the mobile wallets. And the things with the mobile wallets, it's not what is inside, not the transaction as such, excuse me, not the, the transaction as such. It's the data, the data that we can use in mobile wallets. So that leaves us with connected car. And connected car is something that we can see that we will launch this year, 4G for cars. And that means that you will have better entertainment, better navigation, you will have much better uh, parking facilities, but also better services to your car from your dealer. So 4G in the cars will be the new things. So connectivity reshapes both the private life, but even more importantly, also the business life. Because the business life is also related to connectivity. And just to give you one example, earlier we had traditional media for advertising, then that will move to digital media. And now we can see the second wave is actually going to mobile media. And this location-based services is something that you can see, something that you can learn more about, and you will see much more of it. And we are doing that as well. And that is something that we need to work close with. So we can see that we went from the traditional media, then with internet to the digital media, and now we're going into the mobile media. And this is one example. Another example that I would like to show is the M2M. And we within Telia Sonra, we are so proud because we have launched a new M2M platform